Hi, I'm Stinger Guala from NASA. I'll just take a couple of minutes to introduce you to the multi-mission algorithm and analysis platform, or MAP as we call it. Uh, it's our premier, you know, it's really a flagship uh, project to show international collaboration and also for open science. And the whole thing is open source. And this is a substantial undertaking. There are about 20 people working on this. Um, and it's a fully collaborative thing between the European uh, Space Agency and NASA. And so why did we do this? Well, the original use case is understanding the carbon cycle, which is the weight of all trees on Earth, basically. Uh, your weight doesn't matter. It's the trees that are, are big here. Uh, and we have, we have a lot of data on that. There's um, ISAT and JEDI are already up there. And early next year, NISAR is going to launch, and so is biomass. And those are going to bring in huge amounts of data. It's not trivial. NISAR does about, is going to do about 80 terabytes a day of data. Uh, so we need a collaborative environment. We need to get the processing next to the data. Uh, we need to be able to uh, program together and share algorithms, stuff like that. So the solution, map. Uh, it's a joint coding environment. You log in, you get your environment. All your libraries are updated. How cool is that? Uh, you have a chat and collaborative coding environment. We have a common metadata repository so that uh, everyone addresses the data the same way. It's all, it's all in the cloud. Um, and it all uses common APIs. Everything in it is standardized and common. So everyone, wherever you're sitting, Europe, US, anywhere, uh, it works. Uh, we have our own individual things that we're building out on the sides of MAP. Uh, Europe has this container organization, uh, orchestration pipeline, COPA, which is kind of cool. And uh, they have a really good visualization platform, EDAV. Uh, on the NASA side, we've got the data processing system where you, you can spin up a supercomputer in the cloud if you can afford it. Um, but we also, so we can afford it, have a pipeline to an actual supercomputer, uh, Pleiades. And we also have the MAP dashboard so that we can communicate uh, the results out of MAP directly. Uh, users can do that. So some products are coming out of MAP. Uh, we're doing a huge biomass harmonization project, so everyone who's ever done uh, a large biomass project, we get them on map and we're harmonizing it so that you know, all the variance is, uh, is accounted for, stuff like that. Uh, and then we have ISAT-2, we did boreal biomass, so JEDI only goes up to like London and we made it compatible so we can put JEDI and ISAT-2 together and have another global biomass estimate. And we've done all the preliminary work for NISAR. And if you want to know more about MAP, I would start with a press release up here at the top. And then our GitHub is at the bottom, and MAP's already being reused. This is not a show-off GitHub. This is actual usable code. Uh, Natasha Stavros at the University of uh, Colorado Boulder, for example, has already implemented her own MAP and made a much prettier front end to it for hyperspectral imagery. Uh, and you are all welcome to do that. Thank you. Thank you.